Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm just looking at this article in The Driven about um, this Mercedes-Benz solar paint. So they reckon their new technology obviously can generate electricity directly from sunlight to extend EV range, uh, offering up to 20,000 kilometers of range annually under ideal conditions. These solar modules are wafer thin, five microns, and very lightweight, five, uh, 50 grams per meter squared, 20% efficiency, uh, and they can cover the entire vehicle seamlessly. Uh, obviously feeding electricity into the EV battery even when it's stationary under the sun. I'm just looking outside my window now, bright blue sky outside, so it'd be perfect for a day like today. So they reckon in Stuttgart in Germany, uh, 12,000 kilometers of range extra per year. In Beijing, China, 14,000. Uh, in Los Angeles, USA, which has very similar weather to here in Sydney, 20,000 kilometers per year extra. Admittedly, LA is probably drier than here, probably get more sun too. Um, so, for example, in Stuttgart in Germany, the paint could cover or could power 62% of a driver's daily 52 kilometers of commute. Uh, they reckon it's non-toxic, recyclable, and widely available materials. So no rare earths or silicon, cheaper and more eco-friendly than conventional solar panels as well. And it can cover all external uh, exterior vehicle services, irrespective of shape or angle. So it seems pretty cool, pretty uh, futuristic. Uh, quite innovative and potentially could be a game changer as well. Um, I mean, obviously there'd be a cost as well. You'd have to work out whether it's worth paying however much it is extra for paint. I mean, looking at paint sometimes, some manufacturers want to charge you like up to $3,000 for red paint. For example, Tesla does that, right? So how much would this paint be? Like, could it be up to $10,000 for getting, I don't know, like maybe at the most a couple of solar panels, equivalent of a couple of solar panels on the roof of a car or all over the car. Um, let's have a look, think about this. So they reckon in LA, for example, 20,000 kilometers per year extra uh, of range, right? So assuming an efficiency of say five kilometers per kilowatt hour. So you're looking at what that's, that's like 4,000 uh, kilowatt hours of extra energy per year. Um, and what's that divided by 300? So that's like, you know, 10 kilowatt hours, maybe. Let's say 10 kilowatt hours per day, right? Uh, that's a, you know, that's like best case scenario. Uh, you know, it's more like maybe close to 15, depending on the maths. But let's say, let's say 10 kilowatt hours per day. And in LA, you could probably achieve that because it, it barely rains there and there's a lot of sun. So 10 kilowatt hours per day. So assuming the size of two solar panels at the best efficiency of say 500 uh, watts, so one kilowatt of solar panels on the body and roof of a car. So you'd have to park the car outside for 10 hours per day to get 10 kilowatt hours. So 10 times one kilowatt, that's 10 kilowatt hours um, per day. And so that's like 50, uh, you know, 50 kilometers of range, uh, for example. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's feasible. And, um, you know, what's the cost of charging that a public charger, for example? So, so 10 kilowatt hours, say you're paying like, at the most here in Australia is like 70 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's like seven bucks worth, seven bucks per, per day times 300 days in a year. So that's like two grand extra. So times the life of a car, six, say uh, five years. So that's like 10 grand. So just a quick like napkin mats um, or serviette mats. That's like, yeah, $10,000 worth of paint right there. So I, I think that's what you're kind of looking at. You're looking at paying an extra 10 grand for this, uh, for this paint. I mean, yeah, in, in, you know, in thinking about it, look, it's, it seems pretty cool being able to park the car outside and having this paint that can charge your car at the same time as opposed to just it getting hot, right? You'd have to you know, do away, with, um, do away with, the, with the glass roof, which is fine because a lot of, you know, some people don't like having a glass roof anyway when it's too hot outside. So having a solar panel roof um, and paint all over the car, that could work. There are some cars right now, actually, I know Genesis visited their showroom a couple of years ago. They're like electrified EVs. I think the GV70, I think, um, has got a solar paneled roof. I mean, that, that thing's tiny. Like at the most that would generate 300 watts. It's not even a full size panel on the roof of a car. So, I mean, look, something's better than nothing, but obviously it's gotta be economically sustainable as well. You gotta think whether it's worth paying that extra five to $10,000 for that extra paint or the extra solar panel on the roof, whether it's worth doing that as opposed to just investing in, a, um, in a, uh, a solar charger at home. Uh, and obviously you're not home all the time, so you've got to weigh that as well. Um, another way of charging, you know, um, just 
incidental charging is having more charges at workplaces, at universities, at schools, um, shopping center car parks, obviously, that's an easy one. Just around the place where people can just plug in. And I, I don't think it should be free. I think free charges, free charges is gone. Like, early adoption stage when I first got my Model S back in 2016, great, I, I sort the free charges out. But I think free charges just, just encourages freeloading. People shouldn't have to pay for their charging. Like, it doesn't seem right that people camp there when there's free charging all the time. Like, it's, it's got to be a paid system, right? Even if, it, if it's a token amount, people, it'll stop people freeloading. And having visited the UK um, in June this year, a lot of the AC charges around town weren't free, which I think is a good thing. Like, you see banks, rows of AC charges in shopping centre car parks and in public spaces, but they're all paid either by an app or tap. Um, whereas in Australia, there's still some free, free charges around. And then you end up with a situation where one, there's freeloading, two, people are camping, and three, um, you know, um, they're just not maintained. So if there's some sort of um, uh, maintenance because they're paid, then I think it's, it's all the better. I digress. But uh, that's <clears throat> obviously an alternative to something like this, this innovative solar paint, which Mercedes-Benz is obviously um, uh, investigating and potentially wanting to put in their cars. So, yeah, look, tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Is it worth the extra... I don't know, X thousand dollars to potentially offset up to 20,000 kilometers per year. If you believe Mercedes-Benz with their stats, which I've just worked out for you, that it's, it's feasible. But then you gotta think about the, the fact that it's costing more money to have that extra paint on your car. So look, it's good to, ha good to have those options. It's actually good to have that option for people who don't have off-street parking or off-street charging, because then you can just park your car on the street during the day and then just charge your car that way for 10 hours per day, particularly in, in Spring, summer, you know, early autumn when there's plenty of sun out there. I'm looking at the window again, a bright blue sky. Today would be ideal for that. Um, something like from that, like nine o'clock to four o'clock, maybe. Yeah, you get like eight really good hours of sunlight. Um, and I'm sure there'll be more, you know, better technology out there eventually too, where you can capture sunlight, sunlight uh, from different angles um, to try and siphon that energy. Um, I know, it, I'm sure every manufacturer has thought about um, some sort of, you know, innovative way to capture that sunlight during the day. Right? I know Tesla, early on with the Model 3, um, the, you know, it was like almost like a canopy over the car where it would capture the sunlight and move as the sun went on. Obviously, that's, I think the cost of doing that would be prohibitive, but it's a pretty cool concept nonetheless, um, something out of sci-fi, right? So yeah, I think this paint option is a good thing. Um, it's, we've seen that as well um, in... Australia even, I think there was a company doing that a couple of years ago where they had this rollout ream of solar panels where obviously the charging is very slow but if there was a break they could, they could like roll this mat out onto a reserve or a bit of grass uh, and then capture the sun as they were waiting, as they were parked. Obviously it's open to the vandalism and damage but um, I think these guys did quite a, a big trip as well to prove that it could be done. So uh, if you can think of an innovative way to charge your car as opposed just to just standard plug into the, to the wall. Um, uh, then yeah, let us know in the comments below. Um, lots of new, new tech coming on the scene in the next few years. And certainly uh, I think um, this Mercedes-Benz solar paint is one of them that uh, I'm looking forward to and will, will monitor over time. Be good to, if they also included the, the cost, potential cost of, um, of doing paint like this as well. So we shall see. 20% efficiency is about right. Um, I think solar panels is generally about 20 to 25 percent efficient as well. The panels you see on the roof, and they are getting they are getting denser in terms of uh, how much energy they can capture per surface area. Um, you know, te technology has improved over time as well. Uh, certainly, my panels on, on, on my roof probably could do with a with an upgrade. They're not as um, as intense as they could be uh, as the new panels these days. So uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Um, you know what your situation is. Do you? have a situation where you have an EV, you don't have off-street parking, you don't have off-street charging, where you could find this quite useful to have uh, for your situation. Um, how do you charge your car? Uh, do you just plug in the night like I do, because uh, I've got the garage? Um, do you have a workplace with a charger? Have you got uh, a shopping center nearby where you can charge? What do you think about free charging? Do you think free charging is a good thing? Should we have that? Or should we stop free charging altogether where um, you know, they should be paid all the time. So to discourage those things I talked about as well. And if you're watching from elsewhere in the world, obviously we're lucky here in Sydney um, and places like LA, uh, west coast of US where there's plenty of sun, but other places where there may not be as much sun. So this kind of uh, 
tech may not be as useful. So let us know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching as always. That is 10 minutes. Until next time, I'm Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Happy charging.